Today, I want to talk to you about urinary tract infections. <clears throat> urinary tract infections may be classified as upper urinary tract infections and lower urinary tract infection. It may also be classified as complicated and uncomplicated. Patients with upper urinary tract infections usually have fever, chills, nausea, vomiting, and back pain while patients with low urinary tract infections usually do not have fever. The presentation of UTIs. Generally, there will be dysuria, painful urination, or urinary frequency, urinary urgency, suprapubic pain, flank pain in the back, and hematuria. An uncomplicated urinary tract infection is acute cystitis or palynephritis in a non-toxic, healthy, non-pregnant, premenopausal female with normal urogenital anatomy. They are usually caused by E. coli. Complicated urinary tract infections occur in the elderly patients, male patients, patients with uncontrolled diabetes, immunocompromised patients, patients with kidney stones, patients with indwelling catheters, and pregnant patients. They are usually caused by Enterobacterase, Pseudomonas, or Acinetobacter, and Staph aureus. Nosocomal infections are commonly caused by Staphylococcus, Epidermidis, and Staph aureus. A toxic patient is one who shows signs of infection. A patient who has systemic inflammatory syndrome or SIRS may display hyperthermia or hypothermia, leukocytosis or leukopenia, and tachycardia or tachypnea. If the patient has a UTI with any of these signs, then they are toxic and have a complicated UTI. What's the treatment? Patients with uncomplicated UTIs may be given a three-day course of nitroforantoin due to resistance to Bactrim and Ocipro. Pregnant women may be treated with nitroforantoin. Pyelonephritis may be treated with ciprofloxacin, 500 mg twice daily for seven to 14 days. And the treatment for men with UTIs should cover prostatitis and sexually transmitted infections. Well, thanks for watching. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I wish you well. Good night.